Give us just a quick five minute overview, Elena, of the strategy that you are still deploying around building an empire. I know you have these passion areas. What do people need to start thinking about working towards around building their own version of an empire? Yeah, I don't want to give too many steps. I don't want to overwhelm anyone, but like the basic foundation is, well, the first thing I say is find the one you trust and build an empire. Again, that's in business, in your bedroom, whatever. I don't say find the one you love, that should be a given. And in certain partnerships, there might not be like, uh, like a love or a like, you know, I don't necessarily might love the accountant. Like we're not going to go hang out. Right. But if I trust her and sh or him that's doing the job and executing, you get my point. So find the one you trust and build an empire because those people, even on a bad day or when you have an upset or a fight, can be trusted to continue to execute in their role for the mission, okay? Now, Love having it. said that, that's the given. The first thing is, is the purpose. You have to know your purpose. What is your purpose? Um, you know, in 2008, my purpose was to survive and not lose it all. I didn't really care, to be honest. I, I could only be selfish in that purpose at that time. I uh, didn't care about changing the world or you because I wasn't there yet. I had to go through greedy phase. What's your purpose? I want to have the largest, most successful real estate team in the world on eXp. That's one purpose, right? Um, because I know that other people will have an opportunity to create their own um, wealth creation. So purpose. Then once you do your purpose, you have to know who and what are your core values. Okay. What are your values? What, what do you stand for? You have to become very clear on what you stand for. What makes you an asset for somebody else to want to be around? I am results oriented. I am trustworthy. I have integrity. I do what I say I'm going to do. I'm competent. You know, there's competency is very important for me when you know who you are. And if you are not those points and want to be those points, how do you find the right classes or courses or whatever it is you have to take to make yourself superior? Because once you insist upon it in yourself, you know, you will be able to demand it of others and you will not want to associate with people that compromise on those points because they will break you down. Empires are broken from within, okay? The biggest damage that has ever been created in our empire is from within. I don't care. I do care, but I don't care who the haters are because they're obvious. I know who they are. I know how to plan for them. You know, they're, they're, they're obvious. I can do research. When someone is my friend in my organization that has asked, you know, um, access to my um, community and my people and they know the systems and the structures they know my vulnerabilities my weaknesses you know they're, they're the ones that do the most damage so you've got to know your core values be willing to decide who you're letting in and who you're not letting into the empire so one of the third things is is the people you know i have a very strict guidelines of red flags on who can be in inner circle um, and then, you know, there's different levels of the people outside, right? Um, and then lastly, the, the strategy that I'm, we are always putting together. And this is really my role because, you know, as Grant is the doer and the executor and he figures out the minutia of how to do things, that's his role, right? My role is I always come up with the visions and where we should go. And I have these, all these ideas, you know, and then, you know, I'm the idea, the hype person, the mindset person. And then Grant is the one who executes, right? So what I do is I put myself into the future by about five or 10 years. I put myself into the future. Who do I want to be? What is the reach of the people I want to be? Who do I want to surround myself? What are the experiences I want to be having? How do I want to live my life? What does the condition of my children's lives look like and their friends? And so I, I map out what the whole vision of the five years looks like. I'm always doing more. I'm always taking more. You know, like, you know, one of my things is I want to be the, the face of the woman movement, um, the women empowerment movement. I want to be the face of that. I'm at a point in my life where I'm willing to step up and take ownership and responsibility for that. Now, once I've gotten the clear 
picture of who I want to be in five years, now I have to reverse engineer. So then I come back into present time and I say, well, if I want to be the face of the women empowerment movement, what do I need to do? Where do I need to, how do, do I need to do more podcasts? How do I put myself out there? What, how do I need to be more disciplined? How do I need to be more ethical? How do I need to have more confidence? Who do I have to reach? What, you know what I'm saying? I reverse engineer and then I start taking the actions, which always require time and energy, and most of the time, money, resources. I invest into myself all the time. As much as I am a mentor to others, I am constantly learning and feeding myself and having self-enhancement. I spend a lot of time on self-enhancement because I'm always trying to level up. What does level up mean? The definition of level up means to increase something in order to remove a disparity. A disparity means a great difference. So if I'm here right now and I want to be here in five years, what do I need to increase in order to close that disparity? And then I start to be, lastly, I know we're running out of time. It's this concept. B, write this down. This is the most important thing you will hear because everyone has this in reverse. This is not from me. This is from L. Ron Hubbard. I study his material. This changed my life. The concept is B, do, have. Most people have it in reverse. You think once I have a billion dollars, then I can be free to say whatever or make a phone call because I'm not going to care who hangs up on me. Once I am a billion, once I have, then I can be. It's the complete opposite. The never, the have, you cannot get to have without the be first. You have to be the billionaire mindset right now. Not spend money that you do not have. That is not what wealthy people do. But be it, own it, make those phone calls as if you were a billionaire so when they hang up on you it doesn't matter have so much full in your pipeline that when you get a no or a rejection it doesn't phase you you just keep going on to the next one because you know you're a billionaire that is the mindset be it most importantly number two do it isn't wish how many how many how many I'm gonna meditate and it happens it's be do have then take the actions you have to take actions in the physical universe in order for it to manifest and manifest means to make known to make public you want it to show up in the having this portion be wear the hat of whatever it is you want to be if I want to be the woman empowerment leader I have to wear that hat now not do it once I am, wear it now. Take the actions to make myself in order to level up to be that person I want to be in the future. And then guess what? In five years from now, I am that person.